Hello YouTube, welcome back to Flight Sim World and we're back at San Francisco uh, in the night we don't want that uh, there we go in the night and what we're going to be doing is we're still looking at that weather update but we're going to see what it's like flying at night but you can see that looks very different to what it used to look like of course we still don't have landing lights which is really kind of terrible but I mean just just look at that the way the moon is the way that really really does look good and I want to see what San Francisco looks like at night I want to see if the Golden Gate Bridge is all lit up so we're on the opposite runway to where we were last time uh, tell you what let's set up these views again in fact that's probably the only view we want and we're just going to get underway and we're going to do this all uh, VFR because we've got pretty good flying conditions so I think we should just get get ourselves going straight away give ourselves one stage of flaps actually and off we trot now I've, I've adjusted all my controls so I should be able to control everything a lot better now uh, than I used to be able to in the last episode where things were just pretty pretty bad right let's uh, have a slow yeah see look the rotation speed everything is a lot lot better here positive rate gear up flaps up off we trot and there you go look at that the trim is now working correctly uh, let's give ourselves, we're sort of floating over one way, so let's give ourselves a little bit of rudder trim. There you go, look at that, you can actually see the trim working. That's really, really nice. And let's have a look at what the departure's like. Ah, you've got to love that. You've got to love that. Let's get a nice gentle bank going from this way. There you go. That's very nice, very nice. Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to go look at all those airports. Oh, that looks that looks superb as well. Right, we're going to bring back the trim, ease back the trim a little bit more. As we're picking up speed, we're going to swing over this way quite nicely. And let's have a bit of a look around the area, uh, the area of San Francisco. We'll have a look at downtown San Francisco. We'll, we'll get ourselves up to maybe two and a half thousand feet. In fact, no. I tell you what, let's fly through a cloud at night, let's see what it's like. We do definitely, definitely need to have our lighting systems working though. That's, that has to happen very, very quickly. So let's see if we can get through this cloud. We're definitely climbing at a rate that should get us straight into the cloud. And I want to show you guys, uh, the last time we were out here it was foggy. And obviously in the fog it looks a bit different it's a lot harder to see and I was having some issues with actual flying uh, but now obviously with the controls sorted out and the fog long gone we should be completely okay to fly obviously we are losing a little bit of speed but that's not a problem we're, we're not too worried about that as long as we keep ourselves over a hundred and uh, let's say over 120 knots we will be okay So that is San Francisco behind us, we're just going to swing ourselves into this cloud on purpose, this is something pilots don't usually do, they don't swing themselves into clouds on purpose, but we're going to look at how the volumetric cloud systems are. And you can just see what it's like. So at night it looks a little bit, there's a lot of, you can see the textures. But as we go through the cloud, this is the important part. Look at that, we're in the cloud, but the cloud, we're moving past and through the cloud. That's sort of the important part. We want to start dipping our nose down a bit. Not that much. There we go. So you can see we're flying through a cloud, it's dark. We can't see, and you've got that atmospheric lighting, that murky brown colour. It looks a bit horrible. You know, why, why are we dropping? Okay, I suppose I haven't really worked out the trim yet. Although this is kind of good because we're dropping, so we should be dropping just out of the cloud at this point in time. So maybe I'm going to let ourselves drop a little bit. Let's drop the power. Let's bring the power down. Swing ourselves over this direction and let ourselves drop very slowly. There we go. Let's 
looks good. We'll see what we'll see what sort of drop we're, we're getting from this, and we'll see what sort. When we come out of the clouds, you'll see how it looks. See that as we exit the cloud. Now that is pretty. I will say that that is impressive. Though it doesn't work, that is fairly impressive. Let's see if we can get on the edge, just on the edge of this cloud. Yeah, look, we're right on the edge of the cloud. You can see what it's like. It's quite nice. So, well done there. Definite, definite props there for uh, for what they've gone gone ahead and done here. Because that does look um, like, a, like I said in the previous video, that's a huge step forward. What we're going to do for the rest of this episode, because we're, it's a short episode or a shorter episode, we're going to, uh, first of all, drop ourselves down somewhat look at all these airports around here and we're going to actually go ahead and see if there's anything below us what's below us any bridge any bridge we should be interested in no no bridge to be interested in we're going to actually swing ourselves right the way around over San Francisco so here we go and we're just going to have a look at the whole night flying in San Francisco. And obviously just enjoy the, the actual look of the clouds, the actual look of the atmosphere. Look at the stars up there as well. That's, you know, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. See, that's not bad at all. But it does need improvement, obviously, you can see there. That needs improvement. It's a good start, though good start. Right, let's level off here at uh, say 2,000 feet. It's a good leveling altitude. There's the moon over there. Come on, I said level off, not climb. That's it. Level. Obviously the loading still has to be optimized, so you can see the lights, they're, they're loading in like square chunks. We need to optimize that, of course. There we go. Can we get ourselves slightly better, leveled off slightly better? Maybe like so. No, we're now climbing. We'll swing ourselves this way towards downtown San Francisco. So yeah, overall I think it's fairly good. I think it's fairly good. Obviously it needs the work. The work does need to be done on it. Uh, but it's a very good start. It's a very good start and I'm looking forward to seeing what more they do with the whole uh, weather systems, the true sky weather systems. Obviously, I, me personally, I'm very happy about the volumetric clouds uh, because I've I've seen it in X-Plane, I've seen it in Prepared V4, and I think V3 had it as well. And it's just, it, it's a whole nother level of immersion, something that isn't in Flight Simulator 10, for example. Uh, and if you didn't have that, it would be a little bit disappointing let's actually give ourselves a little bit of power and then trim ourselves down correctly to compensate for that come on down we go there's a uh, San Francisco International ahead of us we're going to fly over that at this at this altitude but we'll get ourselves up to 2500 and then fly over it but there you go you can you can have a bit of a look at how the atmospheric uh, lighting is how the weather effects are you know that light mist hanging over the hills it's quite good and 2500 almost we'll level off there could just get the autopilot to do this but I want to try and trim this myself now uh, in the last episode obviously I had to use the autopilot because everything went a bit 
wobbly, but this episode I should be able to do this myself. Come on. There we go. Come on. I know you want to level yourself out. There we go. Nope, that's not quite right. We'll get there. We will definitely get there. Have a look around. Possibly because I'm pushing down on the stick slightly. That may be part of the issue. That's not clever. That's not clever to be pushing down on the yoke. Anyway, it's probably going to level itself out now. There you go, it's pretty much leveled itself out. That's 160 knots. Which is pretty much where I want it as well. So that's kind of good. Nope, nope, it's not quite level yet. I know it can be. No, it can be, and this is the speed I want. Well, 150 knots will do as well. It's leveling out once more. There's downtown uh, San Francisco over in that direction to the right of the compass. Uh, I'm not mm, not entirely sure. It looks like that. We've got a, a little bit of a wavy motion going on right now. Which is something that which is something that happens. It will basically it's now going to level itself out in time. What's happening is that with the throttles at the same uh, in the same position, you're going up and you're losing a little bit of speed. With that loss of speed, you're then coming back down uh, because when you lose speed, your nose pitches down. So it's pitching down, then it's pitching below the zero angle, um, and from that point you're then descending and as you descend you pick up speed so with the same throttle position so the speed goes up and as the speed goes up it lifts the nose of the aircraft up I can see the Golden Gate Bridge from here so that's where we're going to go and then we're going to swing it around and find a place to land so what must have happened is that in the previous episode yes when we came down out of the clouds we had already passed that bridge or as we were coming down out of the clouds, we had already passed that bridge. That's exactly what had happened. All right, so we'll just keep flying this in this direction, actually. We'll, we'll have a bit of a look outside. It's not bad looking. It's not bad looking at all. Obviously, they need to improve the whole. They need to improve the effects. That's for certain. For example, that's that that skybox needs huge improvement. And that shouldn't really be there. Whatever that is. It's the airport below us. downtown San Francisco rendering into our right. Should try and fly under the Golden Gate Bridge. Should we do something stupid? Should we try it? I think it's a good idea. But then again, when have I done things that are good ideas? I mean, what is the height? Does anyone know what the clearance is of the Golden Gate? You know, I'm searching this right now. As we as we do this, I'm searching the clearance of the Golden Gate Bridge. Uh, clearance of the Golden Gate Bridge. 67 meters. Okay. 67 meters is what I've got to play with. I think I can do this. I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take it through the Golden Gate Bridge. All right. Let's uh, let's work this one out. 
give you guys something to be a little bit more excited about. Right, let's start dipping this nose down. Drop the throttle ever so slightly because we want this to, we want this aircraft to drop. We'll also drop the throttles actually. We've got plenty of time to get this going. But we've got to we've got to really manage this correctly. We really, really have to manage this correctly. I haven't even tuned in the barometric pressure this time around properly. So we're going to be doing this all by eye. Alright. It should be possible. I mean how hot can it be? We're out of 2,500. Looking for, we're, on, we're going to be doing this at about 150 feet. That's, that's the height we're looking for. 150 feet. So we're cleared for this stunt, I'm sure. I'm sure we're cleared for this stunt. If we're not cleared for this stunt, well, eh, we're still going to do the stunt. I do like that atmospheric fog. It's, it's nice. Things are looking good there. Right. We're at 1,900 feet. Very good rate of descent here. Very steady speed as well. About 155 knots. Right, how should we swing in on this one? I think if we get a little bit of a swing out this way so and we will swing it in as soon as that second one crosses through our screen and or through our windscreen I mean now Keep it. Keep the descent going. Keep the descent going. We need that descent. Okay. Suddenly, this is looking like this may not be possible. No, I can do this. I can do this. Seven hundred feet. All right. All right. Power up. I should have had 80s information here, but it's okay. Right, we're going to do this by eye now. We're at 500 feet. We can definitely get under this bridge. And we'll have about 50 feet to spare on either side, I'm sure. We're going to try and keep it as close as we can to the top, though. Because, like I said, because we don't have landing lights, I know we're close to the bottom, but I don't know how close. All right, we're at 340 feet. We're looking for 150. But I think 150 is the act with obviously taking into barometric pressure into account. We are going to make it below this. All righty, it's a bit lower. 200 feet. We're underneath. Power out. And climb. We just made it underneath the Golden Gate Bridge. Easy as pie. All right, let's get ourselves landed. Let's find ourselves some somewhere to land. Up we go. Climb nice and easy. We'll get ourselves to land, and that's where we'll end the episode. Very nice. Let's go over this way. I can see see an airport out there. We could just land straight back at San Francisco. Let me just see if I can find uh, an airport. around here. Ah, it's got to be more. There we go. There's an airport 
right over in front of us, that's that one right there. We can take that one. Or we can take San Francisco, which is there. I'll tell you what, we'll take this one. This is Oakland, right? We'll take Oakland. There's San Francisco, not that one there. That's a different airport. Actually, no, that might be San Francisco. Yeah, no, that might be San Francisco out there, but we're going to take this one right here. So, here we go. Prepare ourselves for landing. Get ourselves perfectly trimmed up again. That was a, that was a bit of fun. I should have taken it under this bridge as well. Oh, well. Okay, what is the runway heading on this? What does it look like? Uh... 25. 25 or we're looking at 14 I don't know there's a load of runways here though I don't know which one I want I was just about I just realized I'm heading for I'm looking at one airport and heading for another uh, tell you what we'll take that runway there because I can see the flashing lights on it although there's a runway dead ahead of us as well that runway dead ahead of us that we can take. None of these have puppy indicators as far as I can see. No puppy indicators. So that's San Francisco. That one right there I think. Unless, oh no that's San Francisco right there. There's San Francisco. You see all these lighthouses there 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 that's telling us what see the color the color that flashes on the lighthouse tells us what is available so that's just white there so I don't think there's any instrument landing systems on that runway right in front of us but we're not using instrument landing anyway we're just gonna do this by eye so let's see if I can work this out by eye again flaps out slow ourselves right the way down now we're not taking that runway in front of us like I said we're taking this one with the flashing lights on it slow ourselves right the way down in fact should we take that runway ahead of us we can reach it quite easily okay you know what no that one's probably easier to get to let's take that runway right in front of us yeah, it'll probably be an easier one to get to as well there we go just line ourselves up nicely with it cancel all our rudder trim make sure that we're cancelling our aileron trim elevator trim we are working on that elevator trim right now. Slowing ourselves down. When we hit 120, I think we'll uh, bring out the gear. No, actually, we'll bring out the gear before that. We'll bring out the gear now. Because that will slow us down. Crank up the power slightly. So we're a bit low, obviously. But that's okay. We'd rather come in low and slow as opposed to high and fast actually that being said high and fast means you can pull up low and slow means you're just gonna crash but we're not going to crash this we're not gonna crash this plane flap stage two let's get this final lined up yeah we're, we're, we're fine we're absolutely fine here well, obviously low for that airport over there. You can just see Oakland Airport with the white and green beacon flashing. You can just see all the red puppy lights on that. But we are fine for this one right here. And we're going to see if we can land it at, I say, around 100 knots. I think that's probably the best one to go for. Where is this? I mean, I don't even know. This is definitely an airport because there's a terminal here. I don't know. It's white, white. Obviously, no. This is visual for this lot. And we will be down. Moment. Oh, what happened there? Put ourselves down quite nicely. Obviously, no landing light. So again, it's we can't use that to judge our judge our speed. Flare, drifting slightly. 
Why are we drifting? And we're down. Okay, we are down. On the brakes, we'll get ourselves stopped. I wish we had landing lights. That would have been so much more helpful letting me know how close we were to the ground. And there we go. Thank you very much for watching. Please remember to hit the like button if you like this video. Subscribe to the channel for more videos on Flight Sim World. Leave a comment in the comments box below. Let me know what you think of what I'm doing so far. If you want to see more videos of Flight Sim World, do let me know. And uh, do check out my Patreon scheme. Link to that is in the description box below. I would massively, massively appreciate your support. It would help me out a whole bunch. Uh, and allow me to create more and more videos like this and I'm going to continue following the development of Flight Sim World of course and we'll be getting a whole bunch more videos I'm going to see if I can go to once or twice a week on the videos for Flight Sim World so stay tuned for previews and whatnot on this channel once again thank you very much for watching and I will see you guys next time in Flight Sim World and if you have ideas about where I should fly next do let me know I'll see you guys then